the research and current um, viewpoints on fasting are very controversial. Everyone will tell you something different. Um, so I really think it's very much personal and what works for you. And I think like, you know, some people do, you know, 16, eight fasts like every single day and they say they feel great. Um, if that's you, then yay, like keep going. Like if, you know, if you feel good on it, like why would you stop? Um, but other people say, you know, they feel like shit and they rather eat smaller meals throughout the day. Um, that's probably where, where I fall. Um, so I, it really, really depends. Um, but three to seven day fasting, I think that's a, like on a consistent basis, that's like quite unnecessary. Um, yeah. like you want to like fasting is cool, but like, it's, it's like, you would ask the question, are you, are you trying to just survive or are you trying to thrive? Right. Like if you're doing three to seven fat day, seven, three to seven day fast, um, like how productive are you going to be during that time? Um, right. So you have to think about like, what are the productive hours that you're losing in that? Um, you know, for me, even if I fast for 16 hours, like there's, you know, by the, by the last two or three hours of that, I'm just like, kind of like dragging my ass and like, I'd rather be a little bit more productive um, during those hours. So this depends on sort of your use case and, and why you want to do that. I think like, you know, maybe doing it once every six months just to challenge yourself, challenge your, your ego, your, your, um, your pain threshold, all that. I think it'd be, it could be a cool experiment and just sort of like, um, you know, have like a cleanse almost. Um, but yeah, that's sort of where I think. And I like using financial analogies for these things. So like, say you have $50,000 in your bank account um, and your job pays you $80,000 a year. And by the end of the year, you want to get to a hundred thousand dollars. It's like, is the best path to spend zero money because you can feasibly get there. If, if all you do is work and don't buy anything for the year, you will get there. But is that or you most, can make, yeah, or you can yeah. just make more money or you can, or you can make more money or you can invest your money well. Right. And so, um, yeah, I just think like good luck, not spending any money for a year. If you can do it, great, more power to you. Uh, it's an incredibly inefficient way to grow your wealth. Um, and if you want to be more intelligent and strategic about it, uh, what you then do is spend your money in more intelligent places. You spend it in places, uh, you know, you, you, if, if you need to buy things, you find deals, which is essentially the financial equivalent of satiating food. Um, and then you put your investments in higher leverage uh, areas. And I don't mean leverage like debt. I just mean leverage like areas that have higher upside, um, you know, which is, you know, essentially from a fat loss standpoint, building your metabolic engine. You need to figure out a way to build your metabolic engine to burn calories in your sleep. Um, and it's very, very challenging to build your metabolic engine when you're not eating. 